Uh oh, we back. We back, we back, we back. Hey, we here. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, look, look, look. It's your boy D Boom. Uh, from LLE Ascension, aka LLE Astrology, aka LLE Tarot. You know what I'm saying? You know how we do over here. So, yeah, I'm back, man. Um, so they got that internet yet. I had to pitch Xfinity, man. It was on that BS for me, man. I, I, I just wasn't feeling that, man. But, at any rate, just want to give y'all a quick little tour of the reason why I'm in my A for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Just really getting the crib bib set up. Just want to give y'all a quick little tour of it. You know what I'm saying? I do live in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? I don't want everybody to know what I got up in this piece. You know what I'm talking about. But, uh, did want to point out one particular thing real fast before I begin this reading. Like I said, this house I grew up in, I'm just taking off my mom's hands for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Keeping it in the family. And uh, I just want to point out this little picture real quick. This picture, hold on, is very instrumental and intricate in my whole program. First off, this is where I got my name from. Like, this is an actual painting, like an actual like portrait. You feel what I'm saying? And um of course, where it's got my name from, but, like, the dopest part about this is, like, I've always looked at this picture since I was a boy. Like I say, I was, I got this, like, this picture is how I got my name. I was a baby when this picture was made, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, first of all, I got a kick-ass name, number one, and Daniel just happened to be one of the most realest prophets to really preach the gospel. He's, like, to me, the realest prophet in the ministry, you know what I'm saying? He's the... The trillest prophet in the Bible, you know what I'm saying? And look what he's surrounded by, you know what I mean? Lions, you feel me? I am a Leo, you feel what I'm saying? Daniel the Lion, you know what I'm saying? Daniel the Lion is Dan, Dan, you know what I mean? It's just, I always felt like I was like uh, Dan I.L., the prophet reincarnated in human form, you know what I'm saying? It's just chocolatey. <laughs> Daniel was black too, I mean, you know. I don't know any fair-skinned people in the Middle East, but anyway, let, uh, get straight to it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just in the crib. Got uh, a few angles I'm going to try. This will be my first one back, but this is Twin Flames and Separation. Hold on, I got to get the clock cloud in there. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, man, God, everywhere up in here, man. You know me. You know me. Let me scoot over a little bit. You know me. But ain't about that Trinity, I can't rock with it, you dig? And they chocolatey in that picture too, you know what I'm saying? As they should be. But anyway, let's go with it. I'm man, glad for those that still rocking with me. You know what I'm saying? It's been a it's been a thing, you know what I mean? Um, but I'm holding on. I just appreciate this whole little process that I'm going through personally and the fact that y'all guys are here with me. And I just appreciate what y'all do for me and what I do for you guys. I've been doing Mad live readings, you know what I'm saying? The past, I would say 30, past 30 hours, you know what I'm saying? 30 to 48 hours, I've been doing like a, a lot of a live readings. And the people that I've had the opportunity and was blessed to really talk to, I just appreciate y'all, each and every one of y'all. Like, and y'all know who y'all are. And I just, it's love. I learned so much from y'all. And it's like, uh, I've had a few epiphanies. I've had a few aha moments myself. Which is why I appreciate the live interactions that I do get with my clients. But anyway, we're going to go straight to the readings. It's 12 Flames of Separation, you know what I'm saying? From May 20th to the 27th, I believe. You know me, you got to keep it fresh. You don't do all that forward into the week garbage, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's cool, you do what you do, but I like keeping it fresh around here. I already picked the cards because, you know, I'm a rambler and I, uh, it's like my second time doing this. But anyway, let's go. 12 Flames of Separation. I'm going to talk a little loud because I don't know what the volume was looking like. So, excuse me. We back at like square one as far as me getting levels right and stuff. So, off top. Got the Judgment card. King of Swords. Really ain't too much to say about that. I mean, it's, it's Judgment Day. It's Judgment Day. It's Court Day. You know, if you didn't really know what was going on with the scoop with your masculine as far as like the legal... You know, internal things that he's going through as far as like moments of truth and justice. It's a judgment day. But it's for both of y'all. Bottom line, Ten of Swords. It's the death card. It could be a funeral. This could be 
you you know quitting your job or your job giving you your pink slips or something like that. This could be, and this is when I say this could be. It could be for both of y'all, one or both of y'all, mainly both, because both of y'all, this is y'all energy. You know what I mean? So mainly with this, I just take this as like funeral, because you know it's like around holiday time. It's always usually death around holidays. That'd be weird, but it's holidays too, so it could be death in the air as far as like. Last time a family member was here, walk the bam. So, in my personal opinion, death. You know, getting your pink slips, being let go of a job or something like that. Or. Endings. Are happening by the masses. So, coming into this situation. Divine Feminine, you're in your role. Being Trinity, doing what Trinity does. Getting out here and, 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 and shedding light in a dark world. Being a light bearer, an earth angel. You know what I'm saying? A healer, an empath, all that. Putting in God's work. Feel me? Your own path. It's like you, this is the surfboard right here. It's that surfboard. You just you just going around like the silver surfer doing God's work, as you should. As far as his masculine, Divine Masculine, he's got big ass passion, of course. You know what I mean? He's lit up on fire, John Blaze. You feel me? He's feeling a little saucy. He's feeling awesome. Awesome sauce. I'll just take this awesome sauce that's dripping all over him as he's just really sitting back and peeping Trinity doing her thing. It's like when <laughs> like Trinity and, and, and Neo are like kicking some ass, right? Neo's doing his thing with his powers and shit like that because, you know, he can bend the laws of gravity and stop bullets and all that. Trinity ain't got no powers. Trinity like Batman, you feel me? And Trinity go hard. Fuck you talking about? It's like when Trinity kicks ass, she kicks ass and stop. I mean, Neo, if you really watch how Neo moves, he's all stiff and shit, especially when he was fighting Morpheus. That's why Morpheus kicked his ass because Morpheus got soul and he got style and he's fluid and all that there, you know what I'm saying? It's like Neo's a little stiff, but he's getting there. But he has potential and power to be the greatest. But he ain't there yet, you feel me? So Trinity out here handling business. But in the midst of Trinity handling business, he's really looking at her like, damn, I got one. <laughs> East side, we got one. <laughs> South side, we got one. Like, I got one. You got the right one, baby. That's how he's looking at you like Pepsi, that early Pepsi can, that vintage Pepsi can, you know what I'm saying? That Ray Charles singing with them fine-ass Pepsi chicks, you know what I'm saying? White one, baby, uh-huh. That's how he's looking at you, like, real talk, real talk. And it's like he's got light so he can see your ass. It's like he couldn't really pay attention to you before, but it's like... Damn, Charlie looking good, right? Like, Trinity looking diesel right now, like... Hold on, let me get that light together. Boom. Trinity looking diesel right now. And it's just, he's really, he's really on your jock, Trinity, which is good. Okay. Because as far as yourself, <laughs> Mr. Divine, <laughs> Mr. Divine, y'all by yourselves and keeping it classy. As y'all should, stand divine. As y'all should, while y'all out here on y'all business. Eight plus three. This is you, Divine Feminine. This is your cards. Coming to the situation, you and to yourself, eight plus three, it's 11. You're on God's business, God's plan, but God's purpose. And that's why you're moving in the way you're moving. Now, as far as this divine masculine, you know, coming off this big ass passion, he's got looking at Trinity like she's the bee's knees and what she is. He's in love. He's the lover's car. You know what I mean? He's just hovering around her. He's just orbiting around his twin. You know, really soaking up her game, really studying her moves, really being at all at her actions. You know what I'm saying? How she, you know, moves against adversity. Yeah, you know I mean, it's like she can do anything. And that's awesome. And I love all that. Hey, like I love all that. You know what I'm saying? He loves all that. And you peeping that too, because in regards to him, it's all good. You know he's sitting now peeping your magnificence, <laughs> your thugnificence. <laughs> you know he's sitting back and peeping your thugnificence. Thugnificence, you feel it. You're a psychic. You feel what he's feeling at this point. For those that's evolved and on the uh, phoenix shit, while those that still Jean Grey are still have that powers to really feel things. We're kind of like Matilda. You know, 
Just studying and honing in your powers, but deep down in your soul, in your heart. In your heart space, you know it's all good. You know everything is going to happen. Even if you threw the tennis swords on him like last week or last month or, you know what I mean? You still know it's all good because you still have to end something and begin something. And the stuff that you're beginning since you ended something is putting you in an even better position to be solid and complete at the end of the day. Everything happens for a reason. God don't make no mistakes. And, if you know, he works in mysterious ways, too. So that kind of justifies the whole mistake thing. You know what I mean? It's like you're literally walking on the edge of a, 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 a building on your phone, tweaking, and you just accidentally fall off a cliff. And then God just happens to like, <laughs> God just happens to like set up to where it's like you land on the back of a motherfucking elephant. And that kind of crushed your fall. And um, like, what's the odds of you really falling off a mountain and then hitting like a motherfucking elephant and then like you hitting the ground and moving along like ain't nothing happened. It's instances where people have fallen out of planes without parachutes, hit the ground, and still survive. God be working in mysterious ways. We don't know how he does that, but he does it. Feel me? So, I'm saying all that to say this. <laughs> it's all good. Take your yoke and put it upon him. I'm going to tell you something. Since Jesus right here, Jesus just gave me something to kick at y'all real quick. Christ just gave me some consciousness to kick at y'all real quick. I'm just saying Take your yoke upon him, right? If you really think about it, once you leave this last little atmosphere, stratosphere, or wherever that sphere is before you get to space, that's Christ consciousness. Because the last little atmosphere you in, gravity still applies. Time still applies. Feel me? Aging still applies. You don't age in space. It's like you don't age in heaven. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, once you get to that last atmosphere, you can literally take all your stress, hurt, pain on a spiritual, emotional, like mental stance. But you can also take physical stuff like a literal mountain. <laughs> literally pick up Mount Everest, Joe. Take it with you. Go to that last little atmosphere and release it. And guess who's going to snatch it from you? Guess who's going to take that from you? Is he not going to take it from you? Is it not going to float out your hand and just be float off in space? You know what I'm saying? Is that not how God works? Is that not how the heaven works? You feel me? You can literally take your yoke upon God. Like literally give it to him. You just have to get to the fourth dimension, son. Just get up there to him to give him the stuff that you've been dragging and, and, and being in here. All the baggage and the drama and stuff. And just like take your yoke upon him, man. That's what that really means. You didn't really analyze that yet, but I'm saying all that to say this. It's just have the faith. Keep the faith. You're Gucci, okay? Divine feminine. This situation is Gucci. It's like y'all ain't even really in separation. Y'all just in loading, a loading process. The loading stage. Y'all buffering. You know what I'm saying? Authorizing. <laughs> that type of stuff. So as far as this divine masculine in regards to himself, we got the queen of pentacles. So this is like... He's looking at the divine feminine like a boss, like you're the boss, like Khalees bossy, like, like her milkshake really brings all the boys to the yard and it's like, and like her shit is better than yours, shorty, like her shit, her shit is way better than yours, shorty, like her milkshake, and the, the milkshake is the sauce, if you ain't know that either, it's the sauce, it's the, you know what I mean, it's that awesome sauce that you dripping in, you feel me? He sees it. I'm telling you, he literally sees it. If he didn't see how special you were, he sees that now. Literally sees it. If he been hearing you been doing good and you making moves and you on your business, but he don't believe it because, you know, you in his head, you got a kind of vain and wishy-washy way of saying stuff like that. It's like he finally gets to see it and his trap shuts. Things are going to be working so awesome. For the divine feminine's favor in her role on her Trinity business, that she, like I say, she's shining so big, she's shining light to everybody, even her divine masculine. It's like she's a beacon, he can see her now. Literally see her now. And as far as the, as far as the divine feminine going to the future, she's got to go in the matrix. Trinity, first car coming to the situation for the divine feminine, matrix, four cups, last car coming to the situation. 
It's literally like you're going to the Matrix to go get Neo. You know what I'm talking about? Matrix Reloaded. You know what I'm saying? This is Matrix Reloaded. You really got to go get your mans, man. Go get your mans, man. Get your man. This your man? Go get him. You know what I'm talking about? Now, as far as the Divine Masculine, because he's just been geeking this whole freaking spread. Going to the future, he's got the Six of Wands. This is a celebration. He's got something to celebrate. On top of that, he's got big-ass passion. He's got big-ass passion for the Divine Feminine. That's something to celebrate. He's looking at her in awe. Dripping in awesome sauce. You know what I'm saying? That's something to celebrate. He's, he loves her unconditionally and doesn't love anyone in the manner that he loves her. And it's just shocking and new, but he's embracing it now instead of knocking that shit like he did before. That's something to celebrate. He literally sees the person that she always said she was now. Yes, it took all this time for him to actually see you're the shit biscuits. But yeah, he finally sees you're the bee's knees. And that's something to celebrate. Clarification time. And let, me, let me take a sip of water real quick. Yeah, so I'm mighty thirsty. <laughs> Mighty parched. Now. Clarifying his Trinity card. We got the devil. Now. Of course I don't take this as a divine feminine on some addictive negative energy. This, that, and the third. I don't put this devil energy on her at all. Okay. This devil energy is like hate. Haters, negativity, negative vibes, you know, that surrounds the divine feminine. That's why you got to stay feminine at all times. This is literally like a group of haters who can't wait to see your downfall. Who are literally sniping, snooping on you, like eavesdropping in your business, ear hustling in your shit. Trying to get something on you so they can take you down or destroy you because you are a threat. You're Trinity. Fuck you mean. <laughs> and your milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and it's better than theirs. You know what I'm saying? It's better than those karmics. Your milkshake is way better than those karmics. You know what I'm saying? And those karmics, it's like they're getting up in groups to come set you up. You're a perfect example. I got my sister, right? Twin. And my twin sister, right? She's, you know, she's cute. You know what I'm saying? And all cute women... Don't really have female friends because y'all cute. I, that's one of my theories. Y'all cute. So y'all ain't got female friends because every little ugly ass friend you got or like you're a 10 and they might be a 5 or like you might be an 8 and like they might be a 3 or some shit like that. But it's like they're intimidated by you, don't like you, and they're really hating on you. You know what I'm saying? And I remember I was looking at pictures from high school pictures. I went to a couple high schools. I won't single nobody out, but on God. My sister was flea, doing what she does, being a diva, you know, baddest one in there doing her thing. Me, I'm a gangster. I was in that motherfucker with a Gucci suit. Uh, this is, I think, homecoming or something like that. I had a Gucci suit, a gold watch, gold chain, some blue Timberland boots that matched the Gucci suit. I'm talking about a Gucci jogging suit. <laughs> oh, this is the homecoming, like, and, uh... My sister was flea. She had like a little India Irie uh, Alicia Keys things going on. You know what I'm saying? She had the little micros with the little little BDBs on there. You know what I'm saying? Like lemonade before the lemonade. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, we all took a picture that night. And my sister got a lot of haters. And I peeped that shit early. And like negative haters. Like energy that I just felt. Right? So I'm looking at a picture. And one of her friends... Looking real grizzly. Like, the way she was looking at my sister in the picture, gee, I was, I was heated. I'm her twin. Like, come on now. Like, I think I was instantly heated. Like, what? I'm like, Danielle, why, why she looking at you like that, G? No, you better watch her. Ass. Like, real talk. Watch Shorty. She cool? Hey, watch Shorty. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Because you just never know. When you're swagged out and you're awesome, you know what I'm saying? You are always a victim. You are always, not a victim. You are always a target. For negativity. People want to bring you down on their level so bad. It's not like they're bringing you down on their level just so you can, hey, come kick it with me, you know. Keep it hood, you know. Come come kick it with me, hang in the neighborhood. It's not like they want to get you in the neighborhood. Nah, they want to get you in the neighborhood to get you to do shit that you usually don't do so they can use this shit against you. 
Once again, coming down on people level, they can slip a Mickey in your drink, throw some acid in your face. Hate is real out here, cuz. I right? And I love my feminine. So look, be aware. You might have some friends in your circle that really ain't your friends. On some malicious shit. Cause you shining, B. <laughs> you shining, G. And when you shine, you grinding. And when you grinding, it's like people who ain't got a life, who ain't got nothing on, and people who live vicariously through you are people you really need to keep your your, your antennas up on. I just want to say that because it's just what I'm feeling right now. Now, verifying this big ass passion that the divine masculine has coming into this demo. We got the Lucy Lou card. So, like, once again, he's chopping all his little crows, you know, curving any other interaction with anybody other than who's he at all. Blah, blah, blah. He's kind of cock blocking himself from anybody that's outside of the feminine he's at all with, and that's you. Clarifying this eight of cups, this by yourself be keeping it classy, uh, divine feminine in regards to yourself. You got the nine of swords, so <laughs> it's like you by yourself, you're keeping it classy, but in your head, you're kind of you're not worried. You're not stressed. I take this as like anxiety, anxiety, maybe a little panic attack or something, maybe a little, uh, you know, like maybe he was looking at your DM's picture on like Facebook Messenger or looking at an old ass picture. And you know when you got pictures in your phone and it's like you in any type of category that involves photos, it automatically has stuff set up for it to send it straight to the person. And it's like you accidentally send like a nudie. You wouldn't have nudies in your phone. Let me take that back. <laughs> it's like you have a long letter, love letter that you wanted to send your DM, but you didn't send, right? Let's keep it there. Let's keep it classy. Do have it in my hand. You know what I'm talking about? So you send a love letter to your DM on accident. And it's like... You tweaking, like damn, oh my god, like, and you and you just like tweaking. You thinking it's gonna be a a disaster when in reality it's like you didn't. You sent it to the wrong person, which is like, whew, but still, I'm crazy. Or it's like it went to him and it was meant to go to him at the time it went to him, and it's just gonna help and roll in your favor. So all in all, you just don't have to worry about anything. You don't even need to be in your mind stressing with this many motherfucking swords in your thought process right now. Think happy thoughts. Get your Peter Pan on. Get your Wendy on. Real talk. As far as the divine masculine in regards to the divine feminine. We got the ten of wands. Clarifying this two of cups. So I just take it like this. He's awesome. I gotta, if I love you, I should let you go. And if you come back to me, it was meant. I would say like 50% of them masculines rolling with that type of whack ass mentality. But at the end of the day, they love you and they want you to come back and it'll just verify their whole mentality. Or I just take this as like, he's just literally, I take this as sacrifice. And you ain't never really had, <laughs> you never really heard the term sacrifice in regards to the divine feminine's role. In regards to the divine master. It's like he's about to sacrifice for this love. And that's some real ass shit right there. Because I, like I said, that's the first time I can recall in the four months of me doing this stuff. Me even bringing the word sacrifice even next. Like sacrificing for the divine feminine. That shit is never heard of it. Never heard of it. <laughs> Moving on. Clarifying this ten of cups. You got the queen of cups. Psychic card. Okay, so it's all good. You know that deep down. I said this earlier. Psychically, because you're psychic, you know it's all good. And you feel that. That's why this here is anxiety. It's not stress. It's not, you know, it's just anxiety. You're just a little geeked to get to your divine master. What was Smith saying? Uh, Independence Day is just, I'm just, a little, uh, I'm just a little anxious to go up there and whoop ET's ass. That's all. You know what I'm saying? You're just a little anxious. You're Trinity. You're just a little anxious to get out here and 
kick ass and, and get to to Neo. So y'all can go to Zion, get out this matrix, and do what y'all need to do. Which is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just playing. Clarifying this queen of pentacles. We got the knight of pentacles. So, like I said, number verification. You got the awesome sauce. He's literally seeing you got the awesome sauce. And he's finally honored to be a pupil of yours, a student of yours, to be your divine masculine, or to be a good friend of yours, or to be in your life, or to be loved by you. He's honored now. He's accepting now. Acceptance. Sacrifice. Acceptance. This is tight right here. <laughs> I'm liking this right here, you know? So, moving on to this matrix that you're about to go into. Probably go probably go get Neo. Matrix reloaded. We got the nine of wands. You wounded. <laughs> Nine nine two. So you're wounded because you gotta go back in the matrix, but it's almost like Neo, your divine masculine, stuck in the matrix, and you gotta jack into the matrix, this game, this simulation, to really go get him. But this is a wound, and that's what's throwing me off. So let me pick another card, because there's a couple ways I can go with that. Ace of Swords, raw power. So. Going to the future. I'm telling you, this is Matrix Reloaded. <laughs> Matrix Reloaded, cuz. That's gonna be the name of this. Matrix Reloaded. Divine Feminine, you in the future are gonna have to really power up, muster up every bit of strength, awareness. You know, authority, dominion, like stamina, power, agility. You gonna have to gather all that because you're really about to go to battle for your divine masculine, for Neo. And it's like you hurt because I'm taking this as like the feeling that you're feeling here. It's almost like. Shit is never going to be the same again. And you, on top of that, you don't even want to go in the Matrix. It's like you passed the Matrix. It's almost like it's breaking your heart to kick some ass. <laughs> Real talk. It's like when you in the Matrix kicking ass and taking names and being on your Trinity thing. Ducking negative people, probably like dropping people like flies. However, you're moving in the matrix. You're moving awesomely, first of all, in the matrix. But it's almost like you have a, it's like whooping your child. It's like this shit hurt me more than it hurt you. Or it's going to hurt me more than it's going to hurt you. Something like that, you know. Because you are empath. But you're really in Trinity mode, kicking a lot of ass right now. And what I mean by kicking a lot of ass, you're like being assertive aggressive not in a demeaning manipulative way but it's to really lay the smack down on anybody's candy ass if, if if it's gonna keep you between neo like it's neo you do you i'm saying do you see how how trinity be going hard for neo though like real talk like <laughs> Russ, oh my god it just hit me love the matrix look matrix reloaded when Trinity went with um, uh, Morpheus and um, my man's Asian Asian cat, man, he was kicking ass too. When they went to go see the Merovingian, you know, when he was sitting in the restaurant talking shit and basking all that egoism and shit, like that motherfucker was just 
dripping in ego. I, I hated his whole little... I hated that program. When they went to go see the Merovingian and, and, like, Trinity wasn't playing. She was tired of motherfucking talking. She pulled the gun out on him like, yo, what's good? Like, I'm ready to die in this motherfucker. Like, where you at? Stop playing with me. Like, stop fucking playing with me. You know what I'm saying? And that anger, right? That authority attracted the Merovingian's wife to help Trinity, a fellow feminine, to get on her road to where she needed to go. That's what this devil card come in, the Merovingian. You know what I'm saying? It's like, motherfuckers is really trying to keep you from your divine masculine. We passed the point of you keeping yourself from the masculine because you're going through internal shit, doing inner work and all that. Nah, we in the outside world. It's outside shit trying to keep you from your masculine now. And you got to have the power and the strength and authority to really eliminate that. That's where you at right now. You like willing to die to find Neo. Like, I'm not playing with y'all. And that passion is being seen not only just from your divine masculine, it's being seen by other people like Shorty who's seen Trinity's aggression and some out anguish, anger in regards to motherfuckers fucking with her and her divine masculine. And she's seen that and, and, and she adored that about Trinity. And that's when she had to like kiss Neo and shit. Oh yeah, he was with Neo. I forgot. They, I don't know. I, I forgot. But that one scene where Trinity had to kiss uh, Trinity had to let Shorty kiss Neo for them to pass and go where they needed to go. That's exactly how it is. I told the story all wrong and shit. It was Neo that was with him. But when she, Trinity seen her kiss like Neo, she flipped. Like she was like, you can kiss this bitch. I ain't playing with you. Like, ha! <laughs> She's not playing. Trinity is not. Trinity is not fucking playing out here. You're not playing, the line, Trinity. Not about your. Not about yours. And Morpheus is just, yeah, like, hey, just let can you let her kiss you, man, so we can get the fuck up out of here. You know what I mean? And that's where you at. It's like you gotta let Shorty kiss your man, so y'all can get up out of here safely and in one piece. And that's the team. Long ass rant, but that's really one. <laughs> really, what I wanted to get out. So. As far as the celebration that this Divine Masculine has going into the future, he is the Divine Masculine. Stepping into the Divine Masculine's form. Like, he's just, like I say, this is the equivalent of he's, him getting with the program. Him finally accepting you for who you are. Him finally getting with the program. Because you was out here kicking ass and taking names in the Matrix. Clarifying his judgment card right here. Judgment Day. It's the Divine Masculine's role. It's Judgment Day for the Divine Masculine to step into his role. For him to finally motherfucking assume position. And it's something to celebrate. And that's what he's doing because he's stepping into position. And I told you it was going to happen. I told you it was going to happen. Now, clarifying this Ten of Swords. We got the Knight of Swords. So, I just take it as like I say. Death to the ignorance. Death to the jack ass shit. Death to that immature ass stuff you was dealing with before. Like that was the Matrix One. Now it's it's Matrix Reloaded now though. So it's another story. And then we got Matrix Trilogy coming because it's another story after another story because this shit doesn't stop. Okay? But what's this Ten of Swords is about is an end to bullshit. The bullshit had to come an end to because he got tried and you know what I'm saying? God had to intervene and really get him to bow down in a position, and that's exactly what's going to happen if it ain't happened already. Now, I'm asking you the first two questions, and I'm going to end this because I got to get to these other videos. Now, what does Divine Master want to let Divine Feminine know? And what does the Divine Feminine want to let Divine Master know? What the Divine Master wants to let Divine Feminine know is that he's going to be here just like she's, just like, just like he can see. Her finally for who she really is. He's telling you he, he's going to show you who he really is. This time. My feminine is just going to let him know. Hey, I got unconditional love for you. So, all right, do what you need to do. I ain't playing. All right. So, uh, yeah, make me see who you are. Yeah, do that. Go ahead. Do that. Like, go do that. That's what you're telling him. Go do that. I got love for you. Go do that. You don't need nothing right now. You know what I'm saying? You don't need no attention right now. Go do that. <laughs> so that's the message that I got. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely fun. Definitely can't wait to see what this Divine Masculine is up to. And if I owe you some readings, please hit me up. I'm talking about 
the people that I owe readings to, just hit my line. If you in America, hit my line. If you out of the country, just drop me an email. But we're going straight to it. Divine Masculine's, uh, damn, I keep hitting my toe on that. Divine Masculine's karmic situation up next. Deuces. <laughs>